Hello everyone, Valguy here, and today we're going to do some lighting tests. So, uh, since the Mistland update, we got a couple of new lighting um, ways to light. I, I don't know, lighting sources, I guess is probably the right word, but uh, let's take a look at those and uh, we'll see which one is best. So here we go. I should have started the video over here, but that's all right. So I've got your standard uh, wall mount and then just all the standing torches. And what I did here was I just did these in order, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I've got some other stuff too down there that will also produce some light. So this will just give us kind of an idea about which one's brightest, which one's, I don't know, best. Now, um, we've got the variables, which is the glowing mushroom and then the, um, the egg as well. And then here, this is for you guys to decide, what am I missing? What do you guys want to see tested? Like these are some of the brightest items that I was thinking of, but um, tell me what you guys think. What am I missing? So. Another test I like to do is going back. I like to use this stuff to illuminate the house when I'm not there at night. Obviously, bonfire is probably best for that, but uh, there we go. The lantern, the new lantern just went out. You can still see the mushroom, barely. You can still see the egg as well. Keep uh, going up. Oh. I think that's the... Uh, the hanging. Well, that's interesting. Number three just went. What is that? Uh, one, two, three. The standing wood torch just went. See it? On and off. And then there goes the big two. The iron went. The standard iron. Oh, it's daytime. Of course. And that's it. And the first to come back on. They all come back on about the same. But the very first one to come back on. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. I was wrong. The hanging one was the first, and this one was the first one to go out. Let's double test that. Should be this one going first. Well, that lantern first, and then that guy right there. We're lined up with it. Yep. So that's interesting. Huh. So there you go, guys. If you are interested in interior or exterior lighting, what do you guys think? Uh, one, what do you think is the brightest? Now the sun's coming up. That wisp light is pretty bright. That new... Uh, the new lantern seems to be pretty bright as well. But they don't seem to be nearly as bright as these. Now the nice thing about this new lantern is you don't ever have to to refill it. It is what it is. I think it's the same thing with the wisp light. Yep, wisp torch, sorry. Uh, but yeah, another interesting thing is that I've got this whole setup on the other side as well. I was going to do some other testing there, but I spawned in this glowing mushroom thing and now I can't kill it. Whoopsie. So I just replicated it on the back side. But another interesting thing is you can see light through the walls, which I didn't really know that, but yeah, clearly, if you're using torches, you can see them through walls. And this is black marble. Marble. I tried to use the darkest thing so it would absorb the most light, um, so that we could get a pretty good test. And you know what I should do real fast? I'm going to do this. Um, we'll see if it makes any difference. We'll clear this out real fast. This is just... Flyby science. <laughs> Valheim science. Okay, let's make a uh, let's make a quick wood room. Um, I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. Come on. We'll make it the same size, so it was one, two, 
three. Yep. And we'll go by night as well. Huh, that's interesting. Oh well. Ooh, now that's gonna hose us a little bit. Put wood everywhere, okay. Nope, yep. That's not gonna work. Too high. Half walls. There we go. And then we'll just do the standard 40. What did I do wrong? Oh. What if these are bigger? They are bigger. But I still screwed up something. Or am I just placing it wrong? Yeah, I don't think I... Let's come out a little further. I don't... Alright, this is not going to be apples to apples, but... It's still going to give us a pretty good idea about light output. And then I'm going to try to put this... About the same level. There we go. And then we'll skip time. We'll get it tonight. There we go. Eh, it's foggy, that's all right. Clear that fog. Actually, that looks pretty awesome. That looks really cool. But it's clearing up. All right. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the brightness changed much at all. If anything, it's darker in the wood. That's interesting. I would think that the marble being black would be darker, but oh well. So what do you guys think is the brightest? Let me know below. And also, I'm really glad I did this test because I was going to use these to uh, illuminate the outdoors. But for practical purposes, it's already out. The mushroom would be better. Oh no, it wouldn't. Does the mushroom disappear first? The mushroom does disappear first. So second. It doesn't... it's not too far, is what I'm trying to say. You can see the rest from a long way away. Pretty impressive by that uh, wisp as well, that wisp torch. Let's see if we get the same results again. We appear to be. Yep. And then yep, that's the first one to come back on. Interesting. Well, very cool. Well, guys, I hope you learned something. I know I definitely did. I also learned my bonfires are out over there. Um, but yeah, it looks like if you're going to light the exterior of your house, you can see the, uh, now what is this thing called? The hanging... Oh, come on. Oh, that was useless. Let's try that again. Hanging brazier is the way to go. And now we know. So, uh, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you want to see in this one. We'll test it against uh, everything else. I was just trying to think of bright stuff. and uh, The mushroom is actually what I saw on... Um, I have some buddies that play, and that's what they were using to illuminate the path at night. Uh, which I thought was pretty neat uh, and smart. I'd never seen anyone do that before, so shout out to them. And uh, there we go, guys. Let me know what you think is the best. And you know what? 
Should we combine three? We'll cheat. We're going to cheat a little bit. We'll do three standing torches. We'll do all three of them. Put them all together there. Three lights. And I believe this should make some type of white light. It does. That's really cool. Yeah, you see how much more white that is? When does it disappear? Or does it? That's actually a really cool effect. It won't. Yeah, it'll disappear like everybody else. And it's not the first to come back on. That fire still is. Interesting. So there we go. I didn't know. I don't know if you guys know that, but yeah, if you put three of these together, it makes this like whitish light. Um, honestly, it's kind of a pain though to go around and refuel everything like that. Three torches. So just be mindful and uh, let me know what else you guys want to see tested. Be sure to comment below. If you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Appreciate you. Please consider subscribing so that more people can uh, learn what you do, guys, and uh, hopefully they can get some value out of our videos as well. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, and it's Christmas Eve today, so Merry Christmas to everyone out there. Hope everyone's staying safe. It, it, if you're in the U.S., chances are it's freezing out there. Um, yesterday and today were just Arctic blasts. So, uh, yeah, I think it was negative 7 when I woke up yesterday. And normally in December around here, it's probably right around 30. So very cold. Stay safe. Merry Christmas. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.